Phoenix says the animal number of A6132789. here is to preoccupy Phoenix so Bebop can eat some food because otherwise Phoenix won't let Bebop eat anything. Phoenix is two years old and Bebop is eight. Maybe Bebop is just Easy going, I don't know. But this one over here. I don't know how she's gonna do with the camera. But this one's name is Goober. Goober. And Goober. Sharp 
pay, I think. I'm not quite sure. Uh, male, um, animal number is A6096529. Whenever I go away and I've got Carter to play with the play with the uh, give one jar, one uh, leftover jar to my buddy, uh, my buddy uh, Rowdy over here. I mean, he's not, he's not a real, he's not a real friendly dog. You know, he, he, he he doesn't, he's not too crazy about me petting him and more massaging him. He doesn't, he's not really crazy about any of that stuff. But, you know, he's, he's been here a while. Um, he's, he's a good, he's a very strong puller on the leash. So, you've got to be strong to be able to handle him if you take him for a walk. Um, Maybe after time he'll he'll start to start to chill out a little bit, but um, he's pretty excited whenever he goes out for a walk. He he's very reactive with other dogs, um, and uh, he was barking a lot whenever I was feeding other dogs. Um, but Rowdy. Howdy. His animal number is A5993072. Um, he's one year old, four months. One year old, four months. Uh, male. Um, he's having a good old time with that. That's the leftover gif. You're so silly. You're rusty. You're just so silly. Yeah, you are. You're a silly boy, Rusty. Yeah. He's having a good time, though. Yeah. Good boy, Rusty. Good boy. Good boy, Rowdy. Yeah. I got him confused with the other doggy that I had over at the Humane Society, which is a different building altogether. This is over pack. This is Rowdy. And somebody, he's pretty young, so somebody needs to work with them to get him to, to settle down as far as we're walking. But I think he could, I think he could be a good dog. You know, he's been here since May 14th, the day after my birthday, this is the day he came in. So he's been there quite a while. I talked to one of the guys up front, one of the staff guys up front to see what's going on with Rowdy, see if we can get him on television or see if we can uh, move him or something just to kind of get him we're, yeah, we're thinking about moving him to the front area, trying to get him moving to the front area or something for, for Rowdy because he's not getting viewed, I think, as much as, as we would like. And, um, so hopefully that will he'll get, him, get, him, uh, get him adopted pretty soon because, gosh, five months at the kennel. 
that's a long time, man. <coughs> Gotta do something. I don't want to cut those things, those uh, those leftover jars, just so that they can reach the bottom. Because um, I don't know what he's going to do to try and reach that bottom. His tongue, his tongue is only so long. I think he might have gone as far as he could go as far as with his tongue reaching. <laughs>